Hello guys, how is everybody doing in YouTube world? This is going to be a tip for today, uh, a tech tip I guess I'd call it, but if you're new to the channel I do a lot of mid-level two reviews, some low-end and high-end sprinkled in as well as long as car tech tips and repairs. This was a much requested video, but before we get into that, I'm approaching 7,000 subscribers. It's all because of you guys. If you comment on this video, you got to comment on this video, and you're a subscriber, you'll be put into the giveaway. You'll be eligible. I'm going to draw one name Sunday, which is the 30th of June, three days from now, and I'm going to give you a choice. If I draw your name, you got a choice of that icon ratchet, brand new, quarter inch dry flex head. Or these Carlisle 11 piece combination wrench set. Those are nice wrenches, guys. Those were not cheap. So, again, if I, again, if I, if I draw your name uh, Sunday, you gotta be, you gotta be a subscriber. You gotta comment this video. If I draw your name, you'll get to pick. I'm gonna pick one, one name out of, the, out of my uh, bingo cage. You get to pick one of those prizes. Okay, this was a much requested video. I had this is this is for the advanced DIYer weekend warrior. I did a video not too long ago just for uh, the newbies, the guys just getting into it. This is for the advanced because as you get more and more comfortable and get more and more confidence, you're going to be buying more tools. So let's get into this. The Advanced DIY Wire Weekend Warrior. You're going to need one of these jump pack guys. This just happens to be a, a NOCO. You're going to need one of those. This was a much requested video. I just haven't had a chance to get to it. I've had so many. I get a lot of requests now. Torque wrench. This happens to be an old Craftsman one. You're going to need a torque wrench. I start out with 3H drive. You're going to be taking wheels off cars all the time. Get yourself a set of wheel savers. A lot of cars got alloy or aluminum wheels. You don't want to put marks on them. This just happens to be coking. You don't need to buy coking. No specific brand I'm telling you to buy, just general. Right angle drill. Oh my God. You know how many times I use right angle drills? I mostly use the air one a lot of times, but I do the cordless one too. I, I use a lot, but at the beginning, you're not going to probably even have air, but you probably you probably will when you're advanced though, weekend warrior, do it yourself. But get yourself a right angle drill. Wobble extensions. You're going to already have regular extensions if you've been doing it for a while, but get yourself, do yourself a favor, get the wobble ones. That's a must because it gives you another 15 degrees, I think, and that sometimes is just enough to get in the fastener. Mid-length sockets. You're already going to have an assortment of, of uh, shallows and deeps, I'm sure, but give yourself a set of mid-length. I start out with 3H drive. You're going to use those guys. A lot of times you can't get a, a shallow on there or a deep, or a deep's too deep. I'd get a set of those. This is kind of funny. You're going to have beater screwdrivers, but get yourself a, a set of beater screwdrivers to hold up. This just happened to be Pittsburgh, but when you get a set of beater screwdrivers, get the ones with the uh, end caps. You, get, you know, you can put a wrench on there too if you want to. So it's got the bolster and study here. It's got it here in the end, but I've had these for a long time and they've held up, hold, held up great. Get yourself a set of them. Mini pry bars. You've probably already got one or two pry bars. You're starting out. Eventually, you're going to want mini pry bars. Very, very handy in, in tight areas. Set of wire strippers. Oh, my God. You're going to be playing with wire all the time, guys. These are automatic. Just happy to be made by Klein. You don't need to buy an expensive pair like this. Get yourself a pair of wire, wire strippers. For the advanced, this is for the advanced DIY wire weekend wire. Give yourself a pair of, uh, for strip screws. These are made by Engineer here. 
I use these all the time. You can see the teeth, they're chewed up a little bit. I've been using these. Get yourself a set of them. Seal puller. Oh my God, you're going to need one of them. Pinion, just a, a, maybe a pinion seal. You know, you pull off the yoke and you get the seal behind it. You're going to need a seal puller. Right angle pliers. Oh my God, these are these are important, guys. When you're actually when you got it on something, you can see behind it. Where you, you know, because your hands are down below it. Whereas regular pliers, your hands are up here and they're, it's in a way. This way, if I'm working on this, I can see it. Am I sending it by Easy Reds? Again, I'm not st uh, stressing any particular brand here. Just reference. Get yourself a, a set of uh, right angle little uh, needle nose pliers. Magnetic tray. I can't stress that enough. I got magnetic trays all over the place. I bet you I got 10 or 12 of them. Got to have those for small components and screws. It's a must if you don't want to lose, lose hardware. Jumper wires. That's a must too. As, as you get more and more confidence, they're going to be tackling more and more harder repairs. Oh boy, he's got the bad boy out here. <laughs> this is a weapon. This happens to be made by uh, Genius. This is a half inch dry flex head. This thing is 27 inches long. Great for suspension work, you know. Do yourself a favor, get at least one real long ratchet. I'd go with a half inch drive on that. You're gonna need lights, guys. You can never, never have enough light. This one you can put underneath your hood. When you're working in the engine bay or underneath the car, I use this all the time. I have a lot of lights, but I use this a lot of times. Tap and die set, a must. A must. It doesn't got to be a real expensive set, you know. Go to Harbor Freight. They got some halfway decent ones there. You got to have one of these guys. There's always something that's going to be stripped out. Got to have one of these. How about when you're working with a heat shrink? You're doing electrical work, right, guys? You need a heat gun. Heat guns are very, very handy. You know, handy for a lot of things. Unthawing things without doing any damage. They're just nice. They don't cost a lot, you know? They don't cost a lot. Got to have one of them. Hopefully, when you, before you put your, your uh, heat shrink, your solder, you're using solder on your joint. You know, you're doing it the right way. Need an impact. This is a tool you're going to use probably, oh, God, all the time. Happens to be a half-inch half inch stubby Milwaukee. These are kind of expensive, but you're going to need one of these guys. These things are invaluable. A little test light. Again, this is for the advanced DIY weekend warrior. I'm not just talking about when you first start out, you're just going to get wrenches, and hammers, and pliers, basic sockets, maybe a few extensions. Got to have a multimeter. Very, very valuable. You know, you want to test, just testing the voltage on your battery. I mean, you know, it's a basic thing like that, or testing how much your opener is putting out when it's running. Anything, you know, stuff like that. A household current. There's so many things you can do with it. You can test continuity. A lot of things you can do with a multimeter. This kit here is for bearings, seals, you know, putting seals in uh, for, for bearings. It's a whole set back there. That set weighs about 50 pounds, so I'm not going to pick it up. That's pretty important. You can be doing a lot of wheel bearings. As you've been doing it for a few years, probably, you're going to want a, uh, a long, a long reach, double box flex head. These things are super, super handy. Maybe for a serpentine belt. They're good for reaching down someplace far. Good for suspension work. 
You get extra leverage and extra reach. Definitely, definitely would recommend you get those. Caliper. This is a cheap one, guys. You don't have to buy a digital caliper to cost a couple hundred bucks. Just buy a cheap, generic one for now with just a dial. You're going to need one of those. How about a hex bit driver set? This happens to be Icon. It could be anybody. It's got the little driver with it, all the hex bits. This is a nice little set. You're going to need one of them. Very, very handy to have. You're going to be doing a lot of brake calipers. And brake calipers, you don't, you don't want to stress out the holes. Buy these, these cheap uh, brake caliper hangers made by uh, Arkin. You know, these, these weren't much money, maybe 10, 12 bucks. I don't know if they got the vinyl on here to protect them. So I've had these for about, oh, I don't know, 10 years. I know you can use a coat hanger, a rope, a bungee cord, but you know what? Spend that little extra money and get the get the right tool for the, just, you'll be happy you did. Long reach hose clamps. This is a must, guys. This, this is going to save your buck. You got a lower uh, radiator hose or something, you can't get at it. These things work awesome. You got two foot, that's about two foot, I think, and it clamps. These things work superb. Highly recommend you get them. When you get, like I said, when you get to be advanced and you've been doing it for a couple years, you got more and more confidence, you're going to be tackling a lot, lot more harder repairs. Pullers. I got, I got all kinds of pullers in that. That tool box you see behind me. You need two jaw, three jaw. You need all kinds of pullers, guys. Highly recommend them. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to make this video too long. Hose clamps, or hoses, I mean, to pull those hoses. These things work awesome, awesome. I like the, the, the X frame on these because they don't, the handles don't go too, too wide when you're fully open like the cheaper ones do. These are a must. Buy a three-piece set for different size hoses. These are a must for pulling off hoses. Snap ring pliers. I got a 12-piece set. This is just one of the pliers that's out of the set. These are a must. Don't cheap out on these guys. Buy a, buy a stout, strong little set. These are made by OTC, but Lang's got a nice set. There's a bunch of them. Just make sure you buy a good set of these. You need a good set of these. Buy the, buy the uh, multi-piece set. You get the small ones, different angles. Those come in super handy. You got to have them. Ball joint tie rod separators. Got to have these guys. How about these punches with the holes in them here for, for making gaskets? These come in handy. You hit it like a regular punch and it cuts a hole in, in the material. Like say you're making a, a, a gasket, for, say maybe for a mechanical fuel pump or something. These things come in handy. I've used this, I use, I've used this on, my, on my belt. The belt you put around your waist, believe it or not. Not that size, but to put new holes in. They're going to be doing mega, mega oil changes, I'm sure. Get yourself a magnetic socket set. This is made by Gear Wrench, you know. They're going to be doing a lot of oil changes. We all drop the oil plugs in the oil, and it sucks. Get a set of those, a set of these. It doesn't got to be Gear Wrench. There's some other brands out there, I guess, but super, super handy. Ratchet wrenches. When you're first starting out, you don't really need them. You get by, but guess what? As you get more advanced and you do more and more stuff, you're going to want a nice set of ratchet wrenches. This just happens to be Blackhawk. There's a lot of nice brands out there. There's Icon. There's Williams. It goes on and on, but you need, you need a good set of those. Last thing I got here is Master disconnect kit, all different sizes here for fuel lines, oil cooler lines, transmission lines, stuff like that. 
where you got those quick connects. You're going to need a very, very handy set to have. Okay, guys, that's about it for today. Well, this was just a, uh, a tech tip for uh, the weekend wire and uh, DIYer that's advanced. And again, if you if you comment in this video and you're a subscriber, you'll be put into the giveaway. You'll be eligible. I'll draw the name out Sunday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the 30th Eastern time. I'm going to draw one name out. Either you get that icon ratchet, you can either pick the icon ratchet or those Carlisle combination wrenches. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment below and uh, stay tuned.